Hello and welcome to another tutorial by the Blender Animations. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to effectively use the subsurface modifier amongst a variety of different shapes. Okay, now when you're using the subsurface, you're going to notice that it'll do different things to different objects. So we'll start with this cylinder. If we go into modifiers, then put a subsurface on it, and you'll see that from the top view, the top face gets all spiky like this. Um, that's really not helpful um, for your animation or your modeling because rather than actually having a cylinder you're going to have like a star fruit. Um, so you want to going to want to tab into it and you're going to put a ring cut and drag that all the way to the top then put another ring cut drag that all the way to the bottom and then you're going to see that that problem is going to disappear and then if you increase the subsurface layer um, you'll see that it doesn't actually come back spiky either end. Um, so then from here you can just set smooth and then your cylinder will be looking good. Okay the next shape is the cube. Now if you want to say get rid of these sharp corners um, in my beginning times I wouldn't actually use a subsurface because I knew that when you put a subsurface on it will turn into that. And I didn't know how to get from this back to my cube. So to get back to your cube, if you want it to just have rounded corners, you're going to put a ring cut in, but you're not going to drag it all the way to the top. If you want to leave this gap here, you want to put a similar gap onto the bottom, it's about there. And from here, you're going to drag out and leave the same sort of gap. Now if we tab out of it, you'll see that it's getting those smooth corners. And if we increase the levels, you can see that now it has smooth corners. And then if you set smooth, then that looks good. Okay, moving on, we have our UV sphere. So if you add a subsurface to this, you'll see it'll just get smoother, but it'll still have, you can see each individual little point. So even if we increase the subsurface levels, you can still see each point. Um, so then from here, you'll just click set smooth. And that's how you'll get a really good looking um, sphere. Okay, now onto Suzanne. If you add the subsurface onto her, she actually looks really good. So that's a good example of how to use the subsurface. So just increase the subsurface levels and click Set Smooth. Okay, and that's how to effectively use subsurfacing. Now one quick note, under subsurfacing here, it says Levels and then Render Levels. The top one which says Levels, that's only for when you're viewing it in here. Uh, render levels is mainly the one you want to be looking at because that's um, the level it will be when you're rendering it. Um, so the levels is usually lower than the render levels just to prevent lag on your PC. Okay, thank you for watching today's tutorial. Hope you have a good day.